Well, guys and gals, welcome back to episode 15 on the Blockhead server. I think it's 15. I'm pretty sure it's 15. I'm really bad at counting. Anyway, uh, I literally just recorded the last clip of episode 13 or four, wh wh whatever, the previous episode. And uh, what I wanted to do in this episode was to continue working on the castle area and maybe decorating some on the inside. There might be a few things we do on the outside, like I'd like to put a few more torches and stuff around on the outside. Maybe a little bit more decoration as far as the outside grounds, but mainly I want to focus on the inside today. So kind of my plans, just to let you kind of know what's going to be happening. Um, I want to build in this area. I want to make some columns in here. I'd like to make sort of like a, like a front entrance thing so that it's not like you walk immediately in but we don't have a lot of space here in the front because what I really want to do is put a giant table in the center of this where all of the members of the blockheads that would be me and waffle stick at this point uh could hang out and uh make plans and devise schemes and generally fool around and do stupid things so that's going to be the plan for this room um so the ceiling needs decorating the floor needs decorating the walls need everything needs decorating on this next level what i wanted to do is to put in some of those things that it's nice to have around so what i mean by that is like maybe put do like um a chicken farm in here uh, i probably won't do the chicken farm actually in here i'll probably put that underneath but to do um like an enchanting room and a map room and a uh potion brewing room and uh maybe like a little throne room in here where you could rule your little empire from and things like that and then in this one up here I wanted to put uh, basically beds and places to sleep. Hopefully I don't get attacked by a creeper right now. That would really annoy me. Anyway, in this upper, upper, upper area, uh, I, I'm thinking about putting something. And I'm not... Whoa. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Here they are. I found you. And we found you back there. What are you doing back there? Get away from me. Oh, well. Uh, apparently, maybe we could put a mob farm up here. <laughs> no, that's not the plan. Uh, why are they spawning in here? Can they go up and down these things? I don't know. I, I haven't known them to go up and down. Anyway, um, so what I was thinking about doing in here, I wanted to put, whoops, not in here. I wanted to put a nether portal in one of these places. So I'm either going to put the nether portal in here, or I'm going to put it in the top of this larger tower. I kind of like the idea of putting it in the top of the larger tower, because I think that's kind of a cool idea. However... Um, forgot about this doorway. Uh, however, yeah, could you, just, you, you know, I'm trying to record a clip here. I just, okay, I've made probably too much progress on this room. I've just been enjoying just sitting and playing, you know, it's like kind of a nice break from the Christmas hubbub and so on. Uh, so I just decided to play. Anyway, let's take a look at what I've done. So in here, I have created a nice space. I, I really like this space. I think it's a good start. Does it need more? Absolutely, it does. Definitely needs some banners, but let's take a look at what I did do. So up here, what I did is I just basically put these cross beams in across here, and I put them so that they're four blocks apart here and, and here and here, but then right here, they're three blocks apart. So it, it kind of gives it like a nice feel to it, actually. And then I put cross beams in between those cross beams going across this way. And that, uh, I think, made a really nice area. Then I built this table right here and put these chairs in, did a nice floor here. Eventually, I want to go all the way around with these gold blocks all the way around so that it goes like all the way around with the gold blocks but I do not have enough gold blocks right now and I don't think that we have enough gold on the server to do that many gold blocks so eventually we'll probably build a gold farm and at that point I will fill it in but for now I think that looks pretty good I actually like the gold block texture believe it or not I think those look better than the old uh, gold block texture anyway um yeah, so lanterns hanging from the ceilings. I really like these archways, and I just realized I had missed one right there. Do I have any stairs? No. Uh, I really like these archways. Those look good. Also, I put these uh, nice uh, shutters on the inside. I think I like that just to kind of contrast the color. Uh, looks like I missed that window, too. <laughs> and this window. Actually, right here, what I'm thinking about doing is putting in like a big fireplace back in here. But I don't know if that is going to be viable or not. So... 
Um, it's just something I'm thinking about. I'm not sure what's going to go in this space. But right here, we have these chairs. And I've been kind of doing some experimentation with uh, this type of chair. And so what I've discovered is that you can put mine carts in a chair like that and sit in them. And I was kind of tinkering with different ways to do it. So there's the one where you can actually push the mine cart into a block. Uh, but that, hey, there you are. I knew I heard you somewhere. Get out of here. Ha ha! <laughs> anyway, um, where was I? Oh yeah, the mine cart thing. Where's my oak box? I had a box of oak wood. Anyway, so there's the one where you can basically, you take a block and then you put like your mine cart next to the block and then you put it in a uh, soul sand basically like this. That's not next to, is it? Anyway, like that. And then basically like you push the block into the mine cart. Um, there's that trick that works on bedrock, but it doesn't seem to work in Java. Actually, I haven't tested it on 1.15. I keep hoping that they change something that causes that to work. Cause that's like one of my favorite little tricks that you can't do in Java very well. Um, but you can do it with a half slab in Java. However, um, I tried that and it just felt like the cha uh, the chair was too low to me, the uh, the resultant minecart chair. So what I think I'm going to do is take and put in an oak trap door. That's what I'm fumbling about in my inventory while I'm talking to try to get. Uh, what I'm going to do is put an oak trap door on the bottom of the chair like this. And then we're going to go ahead and put in the minecart rail on top of a solid block like this and then put the minecart on top of there and then break the whole thing and that way the minecart sits inside the chair and then you can sit inside the chair and pretend that you are sitting having a meeting or something let's see how this looks on f5 oh there we go yeah that's not too bad i'm not am i too low no but i think if i was any lower it would look like i was like a little kid or something <laughs> so that's why uh this is gonna work just fine. I tried it with a couple of other blocks. Whoa. Uh, a couple of other blocks. Let me get out of this mode. There we go. I'm really fumbly with buttons. Uh, I tried a couple of other blocks um, as the bottom, and this just worked the best, I think. Uh, the other option is to put a daylight sensor under there that's a little bit taller, um, and that would make the chair a little bit taller, but I think it might be too tall at that point, so I don't know. Uh, but anyways, that's kind of where we're at right now. And the next thing that I wanted to start doing was to kind of lay, start laying out the upper rooms here. Okay, so we're up on the second floor here, and I started laying out some rooms. So this is kind of the back corner of the big tower right here, and it is nighttime out there. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, so basically this is going to be like the throne room where these three blocks are. That's like our throne. I'm obviously going to build a different throne than that. <laughs> But uh, I was just trying to like work out the sizing. And then I was thinking about putting, I don't know, maybe like a little table over here, maybe a sitting area here. I don't know, but this is like sort of the audience room of uh, whoever's sitting upon the king's throne. And then over here, uh, we're going to have this entrance right here to come up from our, um, I think I'm going to build a manual stairway in here and then have these other three be water elevators to uh, a certain floor and so I think that both of these are not going to be to this floor but this one is going to be to this floor it's just my thoughts and then over here we're going to have like either a map room or a potion room in here this can be the uh, enchanting room and then perhaps some sort of armory like over in in a room that I'm going to build over here so this is going to come out this way and then we're going to have like this and then a similar doorway here. Obviously, I'm going to put like an actual door on this, but um, that's the idea. And then here, and then this is going to go like this to there. And then perhaps we will also put a doorway here. So this might be like an armory or something or other, or maybe like the head trophy room. I don't know. Ooh, that's a good idea. And then uh, this is going to be like enchanting and potions and maybe like a sitting room over there. I'm not exactly sure. And then have this be sort of the larger um, throne room. So I think that that's the way that this level is going to go. And I don't know. No, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. I think this will work out pretty well. Ha ha! Ha ha! Ha! 
Ha ha! Okay, I put the walls in. You probably can't even recognize it. This is inside the castle keep right now, but this is one of the side rooms right here, and that's one of the side rooms right there. And then this is the throne room. This is actually the front of the keep right here, and look overlooking the uh, the village out there. And so this is not what the throne's gonna look like. Let me just reiterate that, that that is not <laughs> what that looks like. Um, I did some beams on the ceiling. I think that those help to make this room look a little bit, uh, little bit nicer. Um, I might move a beam over here, maybe, but um, yeah, so I think that this was looking really good. All right, so I've kind of got a rudimentary layout here, just like we did on the upper floor. So I've got sort of two main rooms roughed out. So here's this one and that one, and then we have a hallway kind of across here that uh, where we can get out on this, this platform and this platform. And my thought is to leave these really open so that you can fly with Elytra and land on these things. I heard him, or was he? Okay, anyway, uh, and then we're gonna have these two rooms here. I don't know if I'm gonna put like chests in here for special items or I don't know exactly what is gonna go into these two rooms or if I'm even gonna include these two rooms like this uh, with these big open doors like this, but um, that's kind of my plan right now is to leave those in there and uh, have that be um, a couple of nice rooms and then of course you know like beds in here beds in there and then again I'm not really sure which um, elevator we're gonna be coming up and down so yeah I'm not a hundred percent certain on that so uh, we're just gonna kind of see and see where it, it takes us. But I'm gonna fill this in like I did the uh, previous one and I'll show you when it's all done. Okay, so this upper area right now is done as far as the walls, so here we go. This is the one that's gonna be hopefully Waffle Sticks, sleeping area, and my sleeping area over in this one. And then we've got these two little multifunctional, whatever you want them to be, rooms like this and like this. I did put in some of these up here to start getting our uh, lamps in here because what I want to do is hang a lamp on each one of these just like we did down below in the previous floor But yeah, this this floor I think is uh, Roughed out as far as the sizing of course We need to decorate all of these different floors and stuff like that But what I'm working on right now is uh, just trying to get everything sort of roughed out to figure out what's gonna go where and then we can do the decoration later uh, the next thing that I was working on and uh, Actually, this is the day after Christmas today and so the, the last couple of days I've just been kind of on and off uh, you know just once in a while um, because it was Christmas and Christmas Eve and stuff so I didn't really do any recording I just was kind of um, just I spent probably I don't know 20 30 minutes um, fooling around like kind of in between some of the Christmas festivities anyway what I did at that time is I roughed out kind of the storage room that I'd like to have and here we go right here so I haven't put in any of the redstone, but I've roughed it out so that you can see what's going on. So this is um, the shulker box storage system that I was inspired to make from... Oh, hello, sir. And what can we do with you? Anyway, uh, what I've done here is I've roughed this area out. So th this is going to be our chest that the shulker boxes are going to sit in. This right here is going to be the... So like these two blocks right here are going to be the dropper and dispenser or dispenser and dropper or whatever that... Um, that are going to be dispensing the shulker boxes and then I would need to have a system to carry them back up over here so that they can drop into whatever chest. Now approximately every row is a half a million items I think so we've got one two no we've got one two three four million items storage probably a little bit more than that uh, in this one room. So I know it doesn't look like the biggest storage room in the world, but it's actually pretty huge as far as the amount that it could actually store, uh, provided you have shulker boxes. So that's kind of the point of that. Uh, this right here is something that I decided to add since my uh, time on the Waystone server, I realized that I need a good place to set um, shulker boxes just so I can open them and close them and have them just be sort of places where, where I can manipulate the items in the shulker boxes. So I have eight uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, um, storage, uh, places here for just, just regular shulker box, uh, just placement. So basically like if I want to, you know, load things into a particular shulker box, I can dispense the shulker box right here and then bring those items and then put them into here. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is go ahead and start working on putting some of this stuff, 
Um, let's start um, putting some of this stuff. <laughs> uh, let's try that again. Okay, so the next thing that we need to be working on is we're going to go ahead and uh, put in some of the redstone components for this particular um, this particular guy here. So uh, let's see. I think I have a button. We'll just use a spruce button for now. I might change that button. But there's our spruce button. And then behind that, we need a torch or two. We're going to need these... Uh, um, this dropper, these dispensers, and yeah. So right here is where our shulker box pickup, um, whatever it's called. What are these things? Hopper. Thank you. Thank you for telling me what those are called. Our little hoppery deals are going to go right here. And we're going to place one there just for now. I think what I'm going to do is have them go around this way. Um, and then have like a row up here that's going to take them around and drop them into these ones. Uh, that way we can access all of the different hoppers and get all of the uh, all of the stuff, all of the shulker boxes be um, reachable. Anyway, uh, so next what we need to do is we need to put right here a dropper. Is that our dropper? No. We're going to put a dispenser right there. That will dispense the shulker boxes and then right here we're going to put a dropper going up into that guy there so then if we press that it should do something soon <laughs> okay we need to get around to the back of this thing let me open this up and figure out how to get behind it let's see this ought to do okay there we go let's tear this all out there we go just to get enough space here Aha! All right, so next what we need to do is place a torch right here. And then we need to go up here just a little ways, like that. And then above this, we need to place a solid block with a torch upon it, like this. And then, uh, let's see, how is that going to go? Oh yeah, we put a solid block there, and then right here we put a slab. Like the, let's see, I just need a slab. Any old slab will do. This slab will be fine. How does my inventory get so full of stuff? I don't know. I'm just going to take these snowballs and throw them in here for now. I do not have a good place to put snowballs right now. And these books. There we go. <laughs> That's why we need an organizational system. Here we go. Okay. Uh, that right there. And then we're just going to go ahead and scaffold up. And we need some redstone doost. Some red stony dust. Some red dust. There's our dust. There we go. We must use the dust. There we go. There we go. Okay, so we have to put redstone dust on top of this here. Oh, it's there. <laughs> Oops. Um, on top of that. And then that should complete the circuit, I think. So then, that's gonna go down. That's right. There we go. We might have to use... Oh. <laughs> I was like, why didn't that work? Sticky piston. There we go. A sticky piston! Because it's sticky. Here we go. That, and then this guy. Right here. There we go. Now, haha! -ha! <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Uh, so we should be able to now put this into our dropper, and out it comes. Beautiful. That's perfect. That's what we wanted to be able to do. Okay. And then when you push this, it should break it and get sucked into this dropper, hopper thingy, whatever right here. And then what I'm going to do is just put a single uh, slab right there just so that it looks nice. Okay. And then right here we're going to go ahead and put in some some stuff that'll work just fine. Okay. Next what we need to do is build the hopper output system so that when these get dragged into here actually yeah what we need to do is build yeah, this first here. Okay. Let's see. It's going to be a little tricky, I think. We're going to make it work, though. All right, where's our dropper? 
There he is. Okay, so we gotta go behind that. Uh, yeah, right here. Okay. So we should have enough hoppers to at least get this started. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna bring these across that way and then put a couple here and like that. There we go. So that way what we do is if you have a shulker box in your inventory, you can just hit a Q on it, drop it in there, and then it should come out into that system. That's perfect. That's exactly what we want. Okay. Very nice. Very good and very nice. Okay. Uh, now what we have to do is create the item elevator that comes out of the dropper or the hopper underneath. So for now, we're just gonna open that back up again. There we go. So what we need to do is create an item elevator that comes out of that, but that doesn't go underneath this. Ooh, this is gonna be a little bit on the tricky side. Hmm, maybe we can uh, take it forward and over. I think that's gonna be what we're gonna have to do. No, but then it's going to go underneath this. Hmm. <laughs> the way that I did this in my testing world is significantly different. Uh, but I think that if we just go down here, we'll be able to get, um, get it around here. Okay. So we're just going to go like that. And then... Is that guy still growling over there? All right, let me let me tinker around with this and see what we got, what we can come up with. Oh wait, there we go. Okay, that's perfect. Uh, uh, that way we're underneath this line, but we're not going to be sucking things down from it, if that makes sense. Um, and then I'm going to come over here. Our item elevator will be over here somewhere and lift it up at, into this uh, hopper line right here which will go up above and then all the way around and then it will drop the items into these hoppers and into the chest. So I think I'm gonna need some more uh, hoppers obviously and we're gonna have to do a dropper. I think I'm gonna do a dropper elevator to get them to go up into this deal. Okay, so where's my droppers? There they are, 16, that's a good amount. Okay, so we're gonna go right here we're going to take these upwards like this. We're going to break that out and break that out. There we go. Okay. I'm going to go up and up and up and up. But what we need to do is make sure that we are, I think I want to do four tall. So one, two, three, four. So that means we're going to have a hopper there. And then our hopper line is going to go above that. So it's going to be um, right here. So then our last, our top dropper has to go this way then. There we go. Like this. And like, like how? Oh, yeah, like this. Here we go. Our little droppity dropper is going to go right. There. Oh, got it. Okay. Sometimes placing things on, sca like when you're on a scaffold and you have to press shift because shift takes you down, but shift is also necessary. They should have figured that out a little bit better. But anyway, scaffolding's not too bad, I don't think. Okay, that's pretty cool. Wait, did I do that at the wrong level? No, I didn't. I didn't. It's good. Okay, sweet. So basically, uh, we have to have a hopper right here. I'm just going to place it down into this one for now just so I can get it in there. And then that should be just perfect. Okay, so now we have to create one of these hoppery elevatory dealy boppers, uh, which to be quite honest with you, I kind of stink at. <laughs> uh, let's see if I can remember how to build one of these things. Okay. Here we go. I'm just going to carve all this garbage out of here. Like that, and then we're just gonna carve this out. Okay, I remember now. <laughs> remember is kind of like uh, not 
quite the right word, more like I looked at it and I now know how to do it. Um, <laughs> yeah. So here we go. Uh, let's see. This goes right here like that. And then what we're going to do is we take um, a redstone torch, place it there, and then a bit of redstone dust and put it here. And then a, com a repeater to go ahead and repeat back into this block, which then will go to that one to do the first dropper. Okay. There we go. All right. Oh, no. I hate it when I have to go, like, extra high to get it to work out. And I might have to do that, and I really don't want to. Okay, here we go. Let's see if we put, like, what do we want to put in there? Another piece of redstone dust. There we go. Okay. Nope. It's not in there. Yep, it's in there. Okay, so what I was talking about is I have to go one block higher than I really need to go in order to get it to work. So we're going to have to go there, and then you place a torch right here, and then, yeah, there we go. Okay, now it should work. So if I drop something in here, it should end up in that hopper up at the top. Yep, there it is. Aha! Ha -ha! Okay, so I finished this room out, well, pretty much. <laughs> I was trying to decide on a background here. I think I like the stone background better this way, uh, just because this looks a little too busy. Maybe it won't look so bad with the normal chest color. So I'm going to leave it for a little while, at least for now. Um, anyway, uh, completely uh, decorated the top of it with our stone, and I've got lots of uh, things in here. We'll see. We put the stone cutter. We put the loom. We put a couple things here. I'm probably gonna put one more thing. Oh yeah, I was gonna put a barrel so that um, we could put like the shulker boxes in there and the empty shulker shells and stuff uh, in order to create new shulker boxes as we move forward with um, loading this thing. So that's kind of one thing. The other thing that I did is I worked on building a little hallway up to it. This might be temporary because I don't really love how the stairway turned out down to it, but we'll see. So anyways, uh, as we go up here, we can see that this is the main room that we did earlier. And then right here we have a stairway going up. Now I wanted to have like a, two, a double wide stairway, but it just wasn't working. So I did a single wide stairway up here and then it goes all the way to the top. So I just run all the way to the top and then each floor like kind of has its own little door and stuff like this. And then I probably will move some of these windows, like that one, That's that one's in a bad space. Um, it might make more sense to have a window there and like a window here, rather than where they currently are. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and see. I can hear somebody, there he is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Okay, take that. <laughs> All right. Okay, <laughs> that's over with. Now, uh, yeah, so this goes all the way up to the top, just uh, kind of in a so somewhat spirally fashion um, up to the top. Obviously, I need to finish it somewhere, um, like, like some of the details of it, but it does go all the way to the top of our nice tower here. And then um, you can see out and down, and I'm pretty happy about that. Well, guys and gals, that's all we've got time for today. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Hey, let me know in the comments if you like this format a little bit better. Um, I did a little bit more in the episode, or I did a little bit less in the episode, but I showed more of what I was doing. Anyway, let me know in the comments if you like that or not. I'm just trying to tinker around with these uh, Blockheads videos to make sure that they are interesting and fun for you guys to watch. Anyway, uh, I hope you're having an amazing, awesome, happy, happy, happy Christmas season, and hopefully a happy New Year soon. And more importantly, I hope that... Um, yeah, that you're enjoying your family and spending some time doing some fun things. Anyway, have a great day and God bless.